the way I see life in a city is well, man, they, we're all uh, passengers, we're all survivors, you know, we time is something that uh, is very, uh, yeah, you know, like a, we think about time, when you, especially when you're born, you don't get certificate, man, you're going to live that much, you know, we never know, right? But one thing for sure, man, what you do for time is the most precious things you have in your life. Because you cannot buy time back. I mean, because for me, every belt level, my, my game shifted and evolved and changed. Blue belt level, I was doing guard, armbar, triangle. Purple belt, I was on top passing. Brown belt, I was mixing it together and getting really good submissions. Black belt, same thing, more of an evolution. Then in the past, um, several years really understanding timing and, and every few years your mind just shifts and as your mind shifts accept the shift and go that way and, 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 and because there's so much information I mean the way I, I was able to break it down was I just focused heavily on one thing when I got enough what I got then I would move on to the next section I and mean, that's the way I did it. I've been very happy you know and very fortunate to have this guy here leading you guys you know half is a legit martial arts when I have the gift to have Javi come to my school, you know, on a, a first open school in Whittier, you know, my own school was like a, like a right at the end of 1997. And Javi came right there, already like an amazing wrestler, uh, competitor, you know, like, you know, he came to his coach. You guys have a legit martial arts right here, you know, a guy that came from from day one, you know, and from wrestling to jiu-jitsu, like a, a lot of uh, people did when jiu-jitsu had become popular in the United States. And understand this, it's for anyone, okay? Jiu-jitsu is for anyone, for kid, for woman, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how it starts. I have another example here for you guys here. It's my professor here, Richard Colovin. You know, he's one of my first students in San Diego. That guy started jiu-jitsu was 52 years old. You know, he's been training for me for over 10, 20 years right now. <laughs> and let me tell you something. We, I learned every, every day from that guy. You know, and the way he trains today, you know, respect his body, respect his limitation, man. That's all the thing that you have to understand. You know, at one point in your life, you're not going to be, you have a young body no more. You have to adapt, you know, and that's what give you that, that possibility, you know, give you that chance. You know, I'm 47 years old, I'm still competing, i still going there, put my name on, on the line, you know, I'm, I'm still, you know, my body is all messed up, but I still try my best, you know, because it's my blood, you know, but most important for me is like, you know, teach for the next generations and have fun with my friends and learn for each other, keep my mind sharp, open to learn for any one of you guys, you know, and keep it spread the world, the world, the world of Jujitsu community, you know, because that can for sure make a better world outsider. You know, so it's an honor to be here. You know, it's an honor to have you guys here. You know, like uh, thanks Hal, for the invitation. You know, and I man, I, I come, I hope to come back here. You know, as, as many more times. You know, like uh, every time, every time as, as possible. You know, I like to come in here and train with you guys and you know be part of that. Thank you very much, okay? thank everybody who came. Um, I haven't seen some of these guys for many years. You know, this place, first of all, honestly, would not be possible without my family, my sister and my mom, without them, and, and, and my sister and my mom, to get me to this point. Because things were very shaky for a while um, with my health and everything else, but uh, I'm hoping that we're, we're, we're coming close to the finish line with, with that. Um, my health is good and it's just kind of maintaining for a little bit and then slowly uh, weaning off and then kind of getting back to a normal life. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I know that I want to roll all the time, but I just, I, I, at this point, I just can't, not yet. We're close. So um, secondly, I want to thank all of you for all the support, especially the guys who 
helped me move twice in the past six months. Um, guys who, have, I mean, anything I can ask for, I've had guys um, be here for me. So, I mean, honestly, I, it's an impossibility. I could not have done it with all the help. Joe and Sam, Dr. Mike, I, I know I'm missing people, Anthony, I'm missing people and, I, and I'm sorry, but it's just, this is um, too much for me right now. But um, uh, all I know is that my commitment has always been to you guys. Um, money will come, money will go. My commitment has always been to the students. My agreements to perform for you has always been to the students. And, and, I, and I hope and I, and I think that by all of you guys being here today, um, you know, that, that you guys are proving it to me just as much as I'm proving it to you. So I want to thank you guys very much for coming and showing support on, um, on my promotion day. So. So there's a few guys that I want to promote today um, that have been a little bit overdue. I don't blame you. I blame Rodrigo. I had to fight for every belt, fight for my life for every belt. So it's kind of the same way here. It's a slightly different program because from white to blue, you got to know what you got to know. That's that. Everything else, then we can kind of adjust towards your game. Yeah, that's game I, I let you open up a little bit more. But the beginners, you got to know what you got to know.